Greetings everyone, welcome back to another video, and we are back playing you and me and her and uh, whatever the fuck it's called. You and me and her, a love story, that's the name of the game. And we're back playing it. Yes. So, I think I kind of skipped a bit too far. But it's not that much. Uh, we're relatively in the same area where we left off. Let's look at the backlog real quick though. This is, um, Earth to Muko, you listening? Got it. Once again, her hand shoots straight up in the air. Yada yada. Okay, uh, feeling a little awkward. I clear my throat. Let's go, Aoi. Okay, then right here. Lying in bed, I stare at my phone. Lonely little Aoi with ne Neri, a friend to her name. So that's basically where we at now. She doesn't even know what friends are. Maybe this is fate. I'd at least like her to have someone she can chat with at school in the morning. It's been a while since I've played this game, man. Admittedly, maybe I should just mind my own business. But I can't help myself. Come to think of it, I still haven't received that email I tried to send myself from her phone. And I sent a few her way after school, but no dice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed up the speed of the text speed. Sync speed to voices? No. Fast. I want it. In yes. I want it instant. As an experiment, I press the call button. Why is nothing happening? She's not picking up. Does her phone really not get any service at all? I can picture her standing up there on the roof over the stairs. It's painfully ironic that the self-styled transceiver girl is the only one not picking up any signal. Okay, we're back in the classroom. The same old classroom. Same old chair. Whatever. And there sits Aoi. Stop booping. Staring into space at her desk as, her per, as per usual, she looks pretty bored. Does she still not have service? At this point, I'm starting to think maybe her phone is broken. Shinichi, come here! What do you want? I'm in the middle of... I'm begging you, it's important! Also, I um, did what I did for Clanad, and I turned off the male voices. Actually, I forgot to turn off one more. Um, forgot to turn off Misk voices as well. So I turned off those and only kept the female voices talking. Why is that green? Reluctantly, I head to my seat. Uh, so what's up? I need some advice. Please. What do you have to be worried about? Keep your voice down, Big Mouth. Is it that serious? Dude, it's critical. Lives are at stake here. Or, okay, it's this. Taro opens his bag to show me a pair of pant... Bro, what the fuck? Yes, indeed. The very essence of a man's dream. An artifact of male ambition. Yes, I get it. Thank you. Did you steal these? How dare you? I found them. You found them? I did. Right outside our front door. What? I found the dream lying right outside our front door. Said there's only four people in your family, right? I forgot. Don't you have an older sister? Nope. A younger sister, maybe? Not a de so compadre. Then what do you have? A dad, a mom, a little brother, and me. Tell me, Shinichi, my brother in dreams. What do I do with this artifact? What, Whatever you want, I guess. Can I fap with it? Sh should I just go for it? But on the off chance, these are my mom's. <laughs> my dreams are dead. Your dreams are definitely dead. Also, I kind of looks dark here, and also I look a bit desaturated because um, I decided to sh turn off my color correction because it it just makes everything weird. I lift up my hands, it looks normal. I put them down, I turn orange. It still kinda does it. I don't know what's up with this camera, but it's not as bad as before. <laughs> so yeah, I just don't know. Either way, let's just continue. So no, the music's fine. Okay, sucks to be you. Ohio. Good morning! With Miyuki's arrival, the classroom roars to life. She really is the star of the show. <laughs> Sona-san's looking lovely as ever this morning. Taro gazes at her, enraptured. Here we go again, the same scene that plays out every morning. This back a bit. Or so I thought. Hi. This time, Aoi jumps to her feet, hands in the, hand in the air, her eyes on Miyuki. That's weird. What's going on for today? Oh god, I have a really bad feeling about this. That phone is probably still in Aoi's phone. She hangs her head. Our classmates are watching this interaction with 
mild puzzlement. Sensing their confusion, Miki smiles. <laughs> Yuki puts on her most dazzling smile. Miyuki quickly ends the conversation, her smile unflinching. Moments later, the classroom is back to normal. Cool. Man, I wasn't expecting that at all. Me either. Aoi returns to her desk and takes a seat. Her expression is, is as blank as ever, but her eyes are carefully fixed on the phone in her hands. She's not holding a phone in that picture. What are you talking about? Uh, thing is, I've known Miyuki for a long time. That dazzling smile of hers, it's completely fake. Damn. <laughs> Let, well, let's just say Miyuki is definitely not best girl. <laughs> Damn. Also, so I want to play School Days. Um, like, I've been wanting to play School Days for a while. I just had no idea how to get it. Because, like... I don't really want to do all the, the the painful pirating shit. But I found, finally, a website that I can actually download the English version of it. It costs like $40, but like it's still worth it. <laughs> I really want to play School Days. I just finished watching the anime. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it. It was kind of, um, the main character pisses me the fuck off. And there's other shit that happened. Um, such as the entire show just being about the the lo love triangle type thing and the final episode being the only crazy part <laughs> um but it's cool these still counts as horror it's a horror visual novel I really enjoy horror I, I started actually watching when they cry I might uh, continue playing that game because I was playing it before but I started watching when they cry I've only ever seen the third and fourth season I haven't seen the first two mainly because the second one doesn't have a dub yeah but uh, like frankly i wasn't i was already confused but i am confused as of watching the first season so it doesn't really matter because because i initially thought um the season three and four were was a reboot um because while watching season one is basically the beginning of season three but then later on in season three things happen and stuff changes and it's no longer the same as season one but whatever <laughs> Oh. Dude, fucking Alan. Oh, he's weird. With her baseball bat slung over her shoulders, um, Miyuki leaves the classroom without a second glance. Damn. Okay. Oh man, it's raining? I was busy actually doing my homework in the library for a change, so I hadn't noticed until just now. There are no lights on in the old gymnasium building where the theater club rehearsals are held. They must have all gone home for the day. Beneath my trusty umbrella, I head out into the chilly autumn rain and make my way to the school gates. Ooh, what you doing, Owie? Just then, I spotted a lone figure near the campus gate. No umbrella to be seen. Let me just hide my webcam real quick for this. Hide it. And bam, it's a... Uh, it's definitely raining, all right? Click the wrong one. Okay. Aoi stands perfectly still as the rain drenches her from head to toe. She stares out into empty space, just like she always does in class. She doesn't even blink. Hey, Aoi. Or Aoi. Hey, Aoi. Damn, I peeked there. Aoi turns to look at me as I hold my umbrella over her head. You're going to catch a cold out here. You can't just stand out in the rain like What? <laughs> Apparently, she hadn't noticed. Anyway, we need to get you inside before. Well, there's a CG of you, of you in the rain, so like, um, doesn't really matter, okay? <laughs> right. There's that gamer brain again. Here, just take the umbrella. No, just take it. I'm way too chicken shit to share an umbrella with a girl. Instead, I take a folding umbrella out of my book bag. See, I have a backup. I said I'm not! I'm helping you because you're my friend. Aoi ponders the word for a moment. And finally, she takes the umbrella. No shit. That's how umbrellas work, genius. Come on. It's not even like you've never used an umbrella before. Oh god, she totally has it, has she? 
What's up? こういう時はありがとう。Huh? No, no, you're right. I wasn't expecting to actually thank me. Then again, she apologized to Miyuki for what happened yesterday, so maybe I'm underestimating her. I turned back to face her. You're very welcome. <coughs> I guess.、Uh, if you told me a week ago that I'd be walking home with a girl in my class, the infamous oddball Aoi, to be exact, I'd have laughed in your face. And yet, here I am, doing exactly that. You know, friends ought to reply to their emails too, just saying.、ね、Called you too. Aoi quietly takes her phone out of her pocket. How is that possible? When mine has three full bars, I'm standing right next to you. Maybe your phone's broken? Apparently, that's her explanation for why God won't answer her calls. It's gotta be broken. You should just buy a new. Why not? Does this one have sentimental value? Kid, just keep that phone and contact God. There she goes about God again. So, who's this God anyway? A friend of yours? You could just, you know, get a new phone and keep that phone to contact God. You just have a backup phone for God. You know, like what people have like, those, those phones to contact their like secret lover or something like that. <laughs> But no. Oh, I see. Could she be referring to one of her parents? Somehow I doubt it. I'd say so. I remember us having that same conversation the other day. Although, I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna do this as well. Just so I can get it, you know? You never know, I could use one of these as a thumbnail. Don't know which one though. <laughs> Aoi continues to stare blankly out at nothing as the rain pours down. Miyuki knew Aoi would be waiting for her after a rehearsal. Did they inadvertently miss each other? Or did Miyuki? If only I knew Miyuki's email address, then I could just give it to Aoi myself. But I haven't been that close with Miyuki in a long, long time. And at this point, I can never hope to be again. All we can do now is pray to God, I guess. <clears throat> do you live around here? <clears throat> She points to a building on the outskirts of the shopping district, the city's sole manga cafe. Do you not get along with your family? It's not safe to roam the streets alone, you know. So, what? That still doesn't. I'm at a total loss for words. Problem. Take care of yourself, alright? Aoi、uh, totters off or totters into the manga cafe and vanishes from sight. As for me, I stare absently, until, until her, or a, uh, absently after her until the patter of the rain drowns out everything around me. I see.、Okay. After running away from home, Aoi now lives alone in a manga cafe. God might be real, but there's no way that's heaven. There's just gotta be a happier ending out there for her. I don't know, it sure seems like heaven to me. <laughs> Surely God isn't the end all be all. Isn't there any way I can help her? I know one way、uh, to help her find it. It sure is. Miyuki, Aoi no gohan, candy de, sta no iro, kawaru no. Uh huh. Miyuki, kono game, yaru? Bro, Miyuki wouldn't want to do shit with you, bro. Damn. <laughs> Miyuki, matte, Miyuki. Damn, bro. Miyuki. <laughs> oh, yeah. You and me and her. Oh, the bell is ringing. Hey, Yutaro, let's grab some l- I'm not hungry. But my throat is itching. What's up? Feeling sick? It's the panties. You ate them? <laughs> no! I found out who they belong to. I see. I'm not sure I want to know the answer, but. Whose were they? Ryujiro's. Or. Brothers? Yeah. Apparently, he bought them online to wear. He said he likes to cross dress. Well, then, that's something. Holy fuck. Fuck, dude. God, why doesn't my throat itch is so fucking bad? Shinichi. I, uh. Might have. <laughs> Stop. Don't finish that sentence. My dreams are dead. It's going to be okay, Captain. 
I know you'll find a new dream soon enough. For now, just give her some, just give yourself some time to grieve. Think. Oh shit. Thank you, Shinichi. Thank you. Yutaro nods tearfully. I have no idea what to do about this. Guess I'll just give him a little pat on the shoulder. Holy shit. The most emotional moment in this entire game. As I'm heading back from the cafeteria with my sandwich, I contemplate returning to the classroom. But I can't imagine either of us will enjoy sitting there in silence together. Instead, I head to my favorite spot. And that's the rooftop. <coughs> God. Ooh. Huh? The door's already unlocked? It's perfectly quiet up here on the roof. Not a soul to be seen. And she's probably all by herself. Just as I thought. I turn around to find Aoi standing quietly on the roof over the stairs. Her eyes are fixed on something beyond the farthest reaches of the sky. Something formless and imperceptible. God. Maybe she's not looking at anything at all. It's a bright and sunny day. As I look out at the clear blue autumn sky, I find myself wondering if God might actually answer the phone this time. I'm coming up there, okay? Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. It's crazy the difference a few extra meters can make. Up here, I'm greeted with a perfectly unobstructed 30, 360 degree view um, of the entire town. Talk about one hell of a view. So Aoi doesn't take her eyes off the sky for a single moment. Wait, this damn insect. A secret spot at the apex of the Forbidden Land. God damn it. This bug is bugging me. God, it's like just harassing my microphone, dude. Um, yeah, I can see why Aoi might feel that way. Did you eat lunch? Mm. Next to her is a plastic ba ba bag to go filled. Or a plastic to go bag filled with trash. I can smell the faint traces of something uh, glowingly sweet cake or jam. You should try to eat better. Something with a balance of nutrition. What? Aoi points to the bag containing my lunch. Everything inside screams calorie laden carbohydrates from the yakisoba sub to the croquettes to the curry buns. The thing about my lunch is. I've got one of these bad boys. I set a small metal can down in front of her. Uh huh. This way, I get a serving of veggies, too. Problem solved. She stares at it like it's a relic from Area 51. Whoa! Yep. It's not actually that great. Truth be told, I'm not a big fan of tomato juice. I just maybe accidentally hit the wrong button on the vending machine. Wanna try it? Sure. Hell, she can have the rest for all I care. She starts to drink. And drink and drink and drink. You downed it all in one go? Is that... No, no, I'm not mad or anything. Did you like it? I really get the comparison, but I'm glad you liked it. Now you ruined it. You really love video games, huh? Right. Miyuki hates the idea of anyone treating reality like a game. But Aoi thinks they're one and the same. It's only natural they'd never get along. And yet, here I am, trying to make it happen anyway. <sighs> I'm sorry, Aoi. I'm the one who told you to make friends with her, and now it's my fault that you got hurt. <laughs> Aoi tilts her head. <laughs> well, it doesn't feel good when Miyuki blows you off every day, right? <laughs> well, this whole, ga this whole uh, world is a game, so I'm not sure what to tell her. Turns out, she hasn't been enduring the pain. She didn't feel it to begin with. She tells herself she can fix her mistakes by starting over, enabling herself to run away from the harsh realities of her actions, letting herself forget. I'm guessing she's never once thought critically about it either. Wrong. That's no way to live. She needs stability in her life. And she needs friends. Anyway, time to eat. As I take a bite of my croquette, I make a decision. What decision did you make? That night, after the sun sets, I leave the house. Where are you going? The wind ruffles my hair as I walk down by the riverside. Eventually, I arrive at an old, dilapidated indoor batting cage. I can hear the sharp crack of a bat echoing from inside. The sound is infrequent at best. As expected, there's only one customer inside. Her form is so beautiful, it captivates anyone who sees it. Mmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Of course she's here. Why wouldn't she be here, yo? She's, she's always holding a bat with her. She was like pointing the bat right square at my face, yo. I don't like that. Let me move this down a bit more like that. There you go. That works. 
assuming they aren't distracted by the flutter of her skirts. At least change out of your uniform first. What kind of play is this supposed to be again? I wouldn't make a retort, but the aesthetic of her swing renders me speechless. It's just bewitching. I'll pass. Like, yeah, like a million years ago. Whatever, I'm not here to play. I need to talk to you. How did you know? As usual, she sees right through me. Welp, no sense trying to beat around the bush now. I should just be honest with her about how I feel. Please, Miyuki. How he needs a friend. Please just spend some time with her. Uh, oh, w uh, well, are you still upset about the blackmail thing? She's been talking to you a lot since then, right? But she's making an effort. Maybe if you were her friend, you could teach her. Her voice echoes through the building. I remember when we were younger. Back then, her natural talents um, alienated her from everyone else. She stuck out like a sore thumb. So yeah, she didn't turn into a queen bee by chance. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions about you. Miyuki takes a deep breath like she's trying to calm herself down. Nah, it was my fault. I hadn't realized exactly why Miyuki resented Aoi for uh, conflating reality with video games. But Miyuki's been working hard to change herself. She's miserable, forced to put on an act in front of all of her friends. So it's only natural she'd find Aoi infuriating when she dodges any personal responsibilities by downplaying her mistakes. It's just... The thing is, summoning the last dregs of my courage, I look Miyuki in the eyes. That's exactly why I think she needs us around, you know? She's gonna mess her life up if she stays convinced that she can just sweep all her mistakes under the rug. But maybe if we're there for her, we can get her to start taking life more seriously. Maybe she just needs a little push. That's why I want to help her take her first steps. Where did that come from? Miyuki's expression tells me she's resigned herself to her fate. Damn. Like, if uh, she was speaking in English, this is how she would have said it. So I guess that's <laughs> Please, Awesome! Thank you! For a fraction of a second, Miyuki looks away. Howie doesn't just want to make friends with us. Her real goal is blatantly obvious. To be the third wheel that brings me and Miyuki together. Personally, I don't want to let myself get any closer to Miyuki. We'll both just get hurt, I know that. But... All I want is for her to have a taste of what it's like to have a real to have real friends for once. For some reason, Miyuki seems a little sad. I'm probably just imagining it. I really appreciate it. Sure. I thought she hit me. Miyuki grabs the baseball bat, leaning against the wall. I am. Fingers crossed that everything works out. After all, the more distance between us, the better. I put on what I hope is a convincing smile. For sure. You're going to embarrass yourself. Mm-hmm. You're going to do that too. I I get that part. And what? What do you, what do you mean? Never mind. Wait, wait what? How? After all that, are you seriously gonna leave me hanging? You really enjoy dicking me around, don't you? There she goes again. Just when I finally get the chance to speak to her alone, her bad habits lead to oh, a song, bro. Um, start crawling out of the woodworks. You sure got into all. Uh, uh, you sure got it all under con or fuck, or whatever. You sure you got it all under control? Miki shoots me a determined look, and I heave a sigh. Hold up, where's the pause button? The fuck? Huh? Hold up, that's weird. Um. I don't know if it's because I changed something with the like aspect ratio because I had to do that while trying to put the game in OBS or if it's something in my settings because there's no pause button. There's usually always supposed to be a pause button there, you know? But, um, let me see real quick. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Why is it not here? I thought I had it here. The fuck? I guess I don't. Uh, no, it's, it's, de it's not there. Give me one moment. I'm back. Whatever. Right, well, I know you're not a little kid anymore, but you tend to pile your plate a little too high, if you know what I mean. I got that notification. So I was just downloading When They Cry, because I want to play that one as well. What? Or what? You put too much effort into your little clash, uh, Clash Mac, too. 
It's like you have a split personality. Sometimes I get the sense you're killing yourself over it. Yes, you are. Is so. Yeah, huh? The tension breaks and Miyuki laughs. Does it? At the end of the day, I can't erase our history together. Well, if you ever need me, you know where to find me. I'm happy to help. Not that I've got anything else going on. Hey. Shut up, tryhard. Miyuki grabs her bat and puts another coin in the machine. She keeps her back turned to me as she speaks. Then she heads for the batter's box. Damn. The baseball rockets off into the night sky and disappears from sight. And for the briefest of moments, it feels like that ball might tear through the fabric of the universe into whatever lies beyond. You and me and her. That's basically saying, um, like, girlfriend, no, that's all that's saying. Uh, okay. I need to talk to you about my dreams! Char drops this on me the second I walk in the door. What? I thought your dreams died or something. The moment a man worries that his dream is dead, that's when you know it's the real deal. Right, I'll take your word for it. Look inside your heart. No can do. So what's up? It's about the dream I found out. His brother's blue striped panties, right? I had a whole conversation with Ryujiro after that. And it turns out, he's a cosplay, a cross player, whatever that means. So he likes to cosplay in women's clothes. Clothes. Yeah, apparently they call it Oto Konoko. Oto Konoko. What the fuck? Okay. Or femboy. Something like that. It's not like I like to dress in woman's clothing or anything. <laughs> uh, right, I'll take your word for it. Look inside your heart. A real talk. I don't really get it. Anyway, what should I do? Do about what? I've never seen each heart look so conflicted about something before. I let out a sigh. What is it that you want to do? He's got a job as a magazine model and he actually really pulls off the look. Though he's not so much sexy as cutesy. It's just kind of weird, don't you think? It's definitely uncommon. I want to support his life choices and all. I try to stay woke, you know? But but when it's your family, it's hard to accept it right away. Man, I feel so stupid. I don't understand the first thing about him. Or, no, that's fucking that guy. Man, I feel so stupid. I don't understand the first thing about him. Guitar struggles to find the words. Or, before you ask, yes, he's always this intense. It's just how he is. Yeah, I wouldn't tear your hair out about it if I, if I were you personally. He's kept it to himself for over 10 years now, right? You've had a day. Of course you're not going to understand right away. Put it another way. All you need is a little time. You think so? You. Poor Muko. Or poor Muko. Sona-san won't give her the time of day. At this point, it's getting kind of hard to watch. You never know. Or you never know. Today might be different. Different how? Oh, he freezes in place, as though time itself has come to a stop. <laughs> Damn, okay. Just like that, I feel the mood of the classroom shift. Up until now, Miyuki has been blowing Aoi off left and right, and everyone else just went along with it. But now that uh, Miyuki's changed her tune, it's possible the rest of the class will too. That's it! The answer was right in front of me all along! What's up, Yutaro? People can reach an understanding as long as they try. Isn't that right, Shinichi? Sh sure. That's one way to look at it, I think. I just need to give it 110%. If I'm going to understand how Ryujiro feels, then that means I, too, need to start cross <laughs> Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This guy. It's the school rooftop. At lunch. Come on, don't be like that. Here we are, up on the roof of our food. Would you rather do this in, in the classroom with me and her in front of everyone? Miyuki draws enough attention just interacting with Aoi. The second I'm added to the mix, 
There will be rumors flying by tomorrow morning. It rem reminds you of when you professed your fake love to me, huh? Over there. I'll be standing on the roof over the stairs, gazing up at the horizon. Maybe you should go up there and find out. Enough with the proverbs, come on. A Miyuki reluctantly puts her hand on the first rung of the ladder. I'll look up all I want. I won't. I keep my eyes averted as I follow her up. When she reaches the top, Miyuki is immediately captivated by the view. Not that I blame her. It's not even my first time seeing it and it still takes my breath away. Pretty cool, huh? It looks like she's going through a spiritual awakening. Classic Aoi. Gohan. Uh, clearly this is no time to be lost in thought. We each start to unpack our meals. Koala munch? What's on a bit of a chocolate kick, are you? Who me? Let's see here. I've got a potato salad sandwich, a jumbo croquette, some candied jam yams. Not wrong. I can't help it though. Potatoes are the best. Problem solved. <laughs> Miyuki opens the lid to her box, lunch to reveal. You made the whole thing yourself, didn't you? Miyuki's cheeks flush pink. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not used to be calling. You're not used to being called cute, are you? And my bad. Let's do it again, everyone. Sounds good. Yay, food. Why you buddhing, bro? No buddhing. What's wrong, Owie? What? What? Is it past the expiration date of the- Aoi's tone is surprisingly firm. Probably because you're eating with your friends? Aoi mm. looks down sadly. Man, just when I thought things were actually going well too. Come on, Miyuki. Miyuki shifts uncomfortably. Grade A delicious! Admittedly, things are still a bit awkward. Maybe it's too early to call this friendship. But this is just the first step, and for Aoi, it's a big one. You and me and her. Just girlfriend, girlfriend, bro. Eh. Girlfriend. After we finish our food, we decide to spend the rest of our, the rest of lunch on the roof together. <laughs> me too. Uh oh, is your battery dying? Maybe you should uh, drink some coffee to help you wake up. What are you five? I don't know. Aoi pulls something out of her pocket. Is that a hairpin? Um, it looks a little melt- What? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? She stuck it in the fucking wall outlet? <laughs> no. Really don't. How many times she- It's probably why her fucking- She has brain damage, bro. Her brain is fried. That's why she's delusional like this, dude. Wanna hit up, uh, Kurakami? Kurakami Shoten? Uh, Kurakami Electronics. It's right down the street from the school. They sell ice cream there. Every now and then, I go there after school with my friends. Or has friends? Aoi looks over at Miyuki. Chill. It's nothing. Just forget it, Miyuki. Miyuki Miyuki's glare is so vicious, I can't help but dive in to defuse the situation. I think he pissed her off. Maybe the part where you called her Miyuki, despite the fact that she asked you a million times to stop. That said, I get the feeling there's a bit more to it than that. Um, yeah. Okay. Me too. Let me guess. You need to recharge. Bro looks high. Aoi chugs it all down in one swallow. Just like last time. To be fair, she does have tomatoes in her lunch already. One, don't knock it till you try it. Have fun. <laughs> yes, ma'am. How long is this day? The bell just keeps ringing. <laughs> this is just going by days, okay? So this is the third day. What? Or that, oh, fluff. What did you buy all that for? Keep talking like that and Miyuki's gonna cut you down to size, right Miyuki? The look in Miyuki's eyes suggests she's about to drag me to the guillotine. She's dead serious too. Miyuki. Are you mad at us again? Are you sure about that? Oh, deja vu. I feel like this happened just the other day too. Oh, that's right. 
She got upset that day how we invited her to get ice cream. Hey, uh, by any chance, are you on a diet? It's even scarier when she speaks in that perfect level tone of voice. Aoi shoots her feet, her hands, uh, Aoi shoots to her feet, her hand in the air. What? What the fuck? Uh, she just threw all her cake off the roof. The bag cuts a perfect arc uh, through the sky as it disappears from sight. Miyuki sighs and shakes her head, but she's smiling. Wow. Damn. <laughs> she just threw it off the roof. Well, it's another day. Uh huh. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you enjoy it, but is that really all you're having for lunch? She lives in a manga cafe these days. Miyuki falls silent and looks at the ground. She seems to be contemplating something. Not, uh, not that I blame her. Aoi's family situation is pretty heavy stuff. I don't think so. You don't have to talk. Uh, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want it to go. I accidentally skipped it, but she almost got kicked out because she put the hairpin in the foot. <laughs> Damn. Oh god. She did that at the cafe? Damn. Mama. Uh, once again, Aoi's lunch is precisely one can of uh, yablaze. Oh, Aoi's gaze wanders to Miyuki's lunch. Not that I blame her. Miyuki pushes the container toward Aoi. Weighs an octopus hot dog under Aoi's nose. Oh. Aoi's ah. lips part like she's... And it's gone. <laughs> How is it cheating? <laughs> Probably. Damn, okay. <laughs> Damn. How long is this lunch? Like, really? You mean it? Mm hmm, that's what they all say. Aoi is now fully aware of how great Miyuki's cooking is. Personally, I've known for years. She's cooked for me a handful of times in the past. Let's dig in! Yay! Damn. Me uh, being the protagonist with no face now? Oh shit, I forgot to hide the text. There we go. Look at that. We're eating lunch together. It's a lunch. Let's go. Okay, whatever. Let's just continue onwards. Let me turn my webcam back on. And bam. Okay. Calamari rings, Hamburg steak, show my dumplings, potato salad, octopus, hot dogs, boiled spinach, steamed uh, hijiki, beef stew, dried radish, dried radish strips, salted pickles. The food keeps coming and coming, and it's all delicious. Did you somehow get even better at cooking? Sone. Just call her Sone, you know? Why are you laughing? It, it, or, Miyuki it is, apparently. Sounds like you're allowed to keep calling her that. Seems fair to me. If I have to call her that, so do you. We're all friends, after all. Miyuki hesitates. Maybe she's not quite ready to bridge that bridge the gap. Relax. There's nothing to be afraid of. She totally is. Damn. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, I don't think so, Missy. No take backsies. Right, Aoi? Muko-san sucks. Aoi is better. <laughs> Damn, bro. Stop complaining. Miyuki is so hilarious when she's flustered. In, in the end, I failed to contain my laughter for quite some time. Damn. We laugh non-stop. You and me and her, a love story. Yes. It's nothing but a love story, bro. Can you hurry up? Ohio. Let me save it right there. Click save this successfully. Back to title. Yes. And yeah. It's time to end the video here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Leave a like if you haven't already. I'm going to more of this game but like i said before that i wanted to bring back some old games that i was playing a while ago so you know i, I came back to clanad i came back to you and me and her love story and then i'm going to come back to uh when they cry as well because like what i was playing was only the first chapter which apparently it's really long because i'm not even done with it downloaded the free version the, the free one that's off of steam and it, all it says is chapter one. <laughs> this is when, uh, Higurashi when they cry ho. So yeah, it's only chapter one. And it's really long, so I still want to play that. Um, uh, yeah, and then I'm, I'm of course, going to still be playing Persona 3 Reload. 
and just like uh, you know comment below what games you would want to see me play in the future like i said i'm planning on playing school days at some point um so hope you love hopefully you guys look forward to that and i will see you all next time peace out and